What's going on, beautiful people? I hope all is well. Uh, I did get the engine out, got the transmission out. I didn't record any of that. You know, just because I'm sure everybody saw that many times before. You know, the engine being taken out, transmission being taken out. In, in addition to that, I had uh, other projects that I was working on as well. So um, I only did a little bit at a time. And it just wouldn't have made for a good good video so but here we are about to break this engine down take a look at what's going on or see if there's anything going on with it uh, before I take it to the machine shop to uh, get machined out for the stroker kit I would strongly suggest you put your bolt in a Ziploc bag and then label what they are. And then keep everything organized. Just want to give you a close up of what the valve train looked like. Looks pretty clean. Looks pretty clean. Let's see the other side. So far, so good. So far, so good. Hey, looks pretty nice.
Got a piece of cardboard for my push rods. Got it labeled driver side, passenger side, 16 holes. Got an arrow on it showing front. Just, just trying to keep it simple for myself so there's no guesswork or brain work. Now, because I'm going to have the heads worked, I might have to change push rods. I do have a push rod checker, uh, but I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Uh, I'm still want to go ahead and organize it so that um, everything goes go back where it, where it came from. Just like with the rocker arms, I got them still on the on the uh, on the on the stand there. <clears throat> I'm gonna put the push rods back to uh, the corresponding rocker arm. Just something just to keep it simple. All right, so I'm about to, about to take the heads off. Now you want to go in the re reverse uh, procedure of when you torque the bolts down on the uh, disassembly. You want to go in the reverse order. So you can follow this right here, and that that just to uh, ensure that the pressure on the heads is uh, released in an organized manner. To close up for the pistons. Hey, everything looks pretty, pretty good. It's no, no scoring inside the cylinder. Yeah, matter of fact, still got the hash marks in there. I mean, these LS engines are, are something wonderful. I mean, they are wonderful. But piston heads not clean. Uh, you know where they've been. Where there was like a head gasket failure. I mean, this is this is nice. I'm gonna tell you something. These LS engines are, are are a beast. They 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 GM hit a home run with these. These are some nice engines. Uh, this one, when I picked it up, had like 150,000 miles on it. I did some traveling. Um, on the uh, Hot Rod Power Tour and uh, didn't have any issues. No issues at all. Alright. Let's go ahead and continue the disassembly. Got the oil pan off. And you can't really see in there but no shiny bits. Just clean oil, no sludge, no sludge in the bottom of the oil pan. That's a good thing. That is a good thing. All right, starting to run out of daylight. Let me go ahead and get to this, continue with the disassembly. Got it all broke down now. No significant wear on the bearings. Not at all. I mean, 
this thing could go for another 200,000 miles just looking at the bearings <coughs> throughout the disassembly I didn't see any significant wear or anything like that no wear on the cam at all these LS engines I've said this many times these LS engines are something serious well engineered well designed now they do have a few um, shortcomings but nothing significant but overall man I, I am thoroughly impressed on the engineering and the, and the design of this uh, platform real nice very nice thanks for watching I'll catch you next time.